Hello everybody, how are you doing today? This is Amitango speaking. Today I'm going to do another spontaneous tutorial and a quick tutorial about how to influence an entire particle layer by a point layer. So if you saw my last tutorial, I've shown you how to assign a particle layer to a point layer by assigning the position in the spherical warp to our point. Now once this is set and I've got here two layers that are assigned to my point as you can see here layer number four and layer number one is assigned to my point layer and once I'm going to move this point you can see the entire array is being affected by this point layer and this is very useful if you want to add the logo in the center of the frame for example and to reveal it this is a very useful technique to do it also, don't forget that we are in a 3D plane, so if you move your point, which is also on the 3D plane, you move this point backwards and forwards, the particle array will be affected immediately. It is recommended to enable the depth of field in these particle layers to get a more 3D look of this particle array, so the closer you get to the particles, they are getting blurry and you get a complete 3D scene just by adding this atomic particle function inside HitFilm. Finally, I just want to show you that I've added on top of the atomic particle layer the light rays, which gives us this nice effect of the light beams coming out of the center of the spherical warp. This is actually the spherical warp that I applied onto the 3D particle array. Just want to mention that everything you see here is in real time. It's not pre-rendered, it's not a cache file. It is actually happening in real time inside HitFilm. And that's it for today. I hope you've learned something new in this tutorial. And if you did, share it, like it, comment, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye now.